What's up guys, it is Chris back with another watch review. Today we are looking at Bulova and the Bulova Hack. I did a video about these watches when they came out about a year ago and Bulova were nice enough to lend me these watches in for review and I am very happy to have them. So today what we are looking at is the white dial which is like a cream dial and then a black dial which has red accents on it. A very, very good looking watch. Also this has an IP coating on it so it's DLC coated in sort of a gray sort of titanium looking case. Now the Bulova Hack have a very long military history. They were used during World War II because they were small, legible and discreet. They were meant and designed to be worn in battle. They have a 12 hour track and a 24 hour track on the dial. That's also meant for easy calculation of military time, easy and fast calculation of military time. They also hack and that's where they get their name because they have hacking seconds. Hacking seconds obviously very useful for accurate timing of things and also synchronization of watches so that soldiers could have meeting points and meet up at the exact same time. So this was extremely useful especially during World War II where you didn't have other items that you could actually time with, computers or anything else like that. So very useful watches and very used watches. These were definitely used during World War II, so they do have a very straight lineage to those watches. These are field watches and purpose-built field watches, as you can see. These are 38 millimeters. They're 13.45 millimeters thick. You get a double-domed mineral crystal on these. Very legible dials, as you can see. Large crowns, as you can see on, on the side here, they are signed. Screwed in case backs, automatic movements in these, you get 30 meters of water resistance. The automatic movements in these are the 82S0-43A. Those are by Miyota, so they are an eight series Miyota movement. However, these do hack, as I mentioned, so they have been upgraded to hack, and they also hand wind. All stainless steel construction and very military inspired obviously because they have a heritage and a lineage back to those military watches that were originally used during World War II. So very quickly I will throw one of these on my wrist so you guys can see and then I will talk about price on these. So uh, before I do uh, today I am wearing another military watch I would say. This is the JLC Master Compressor Extreme Navy Seals Diving uh, Chronograph, and it has uh, a GMT as well, so a very long name for a very large watch. This is uh, 46 millimeters, but it is a very thick watch, over 15 millimeters thick. Uh, a very over-engineered watch from JLC. One of my favorite watches, uh, Grade 5 Titanium. It's uh, actually very light for the size of this watch, articulated. Uh, links on here, an insanely uh, huge, overcomplicated watch. And uh, getting into these watches, which is completely the opposite, a very simplified uh, field watch with a, a very purpose-built feel to them. Uh, and these come on a very nice strap. These straps are a very supple, very soft leather strap, almost um, vintage inspired, I guess. They, they are really, really nice. One of the nicest stock leather um, uh, straps that I've ever had on the channel uh, that are that are a, a that are a NATO strap. Really nice hardware that matches the case perfectly. Uh, these are a little bit thick, but they feel very nice on the wrist. You can see that 38 millimeters wears perfectly on my wrist. I have a seven and a half inch wrist and these wear really nicely. So as I mentioned, the hardware on these are very nice as well. You can see the uh, uh, all the keepers are squared off and the uh, buckle is actually signed. This is just a, like a raw leather uh, that's been dyed, but it's a raw leather. There's no stitching uh, and it's just a single piece of leather. It's not like a double piece of leather. So it's quite thin, but very nicely made. Uh, uh, strap, just a beautiful strap. And I'll throw the uh, the DLC uh, version on my wrist as well. This has a slightly thicker, almost um, uh, different type of leather. It's a little bit more glossy than the black leather that's on here, but just as nice and just as supple. It gets the same hardware, except uh, it is the same color as the case, as you can see. This is a green color. 
uh, and you get that same hardware, which is just really nice. It's actually uh, a, a beautiful watch, and, and the price on these are really good. They, they've they actually lowered their prices on their website, so originally I think these were in the $400 range. They lowered them down to $316 for this watch with the white dial, and I think the, the, uh, the DLC version is only more expensive because you're getting a DLC case, so these are $360. Um, uh, between the two, it would be a toss-up for me because I think they're both really awesome. But I'd probably just go with the cream dial for the uh, for the savings. They these are uh, a little bit closer to the original, I would imagine, uh, because you don't have a DLC case. Uh, but again, just very very beautiful watches. So there is a, a nice finishing on the cases as well. You have brush vertical brushing on the sides, and then. Uh, on the case back, so it's primarily brushed. There's really no polishing on the case. You can see that mineral crystal here that sort of bumps out a little bit. Really nice. And I'll show you the case back on on these watches. Uh, nice case backs, just simple screwing case backs. Uh, you could definitely get an engraving on here if you wanted to, and it just gives you you know the typical little bit of specs on here, which looks really good. The, the, like I said, the cases are finished very nicely. Large sign crowns, very easy to wind if you want to wind these, uh, but you could, uh, you could, you don't need to because these are automatic. Uh, and a really nice daily wearer, I would say. Just a fantastic watch. Now, these do get loom. These are field watch. I don't think any of the indices are actually loomed. Uh, you do have tr two tracks, as I mentioned here. You have the uh, traditional 12 hour track, and then you have a 24 hour track. Again, uh, very simple dial, just says Bulova automatic, and then you have those two tracks. Some people think it's a little bit busy, but these are purpose-built watches, and there was a reason why they did this, and uh, I don't think it's busy at all. I think these are very simple watches. They look very, very simple. None of the indices are loomed. I think there might be some loom plops around the uh, indices, just so you can get ori orientation, but other than that, uh, simple cathedral hands, blackened hands on these and all printed dials. Just a, a, a really simple application and uh, military straightforward watches. Um, so very quickly, I will do a loom shot and then we will wrap up the video. Uh, again, I'm, I'm in love with these watches. Uh, I really love the A15 they also lent me, which was another military inspired watch that actually never got military use. Uh, however, these did, and these got heavy military use. You could look up these watches. The Bull of A11, the Bull of a Hack, these were really very important parts of the soldier's outfit. These helped win the world, the war for the US. Uh, they were uh, from a US watch company located here in New York, actually, uh, and they are uh, uh, very, very important parts of history. Anyway, so very quickly I will do a loom shot and then we will wrap up the video. Well, there you have it. There is loom on those indices on the DLC version. So I guess you're getting a DLC case plus you're getting extra loom, which is nice for your extra 50 bucks if you wanna go with the DLC version. The cream version does get loom. It just has plops instead of the actual indices uh, being loomed. And then of course the hands are loomed on both of these watches. As you can see, the uh, loom pretty nicely applied to the hands. Uh, uh, not incredible amount applied to those indices, but decently hanging on. Anyway, tell me what you guys think about these watches. I really love military-inspired watches, especially ones that actually have roots to actual military use, and these do. And these are part of history, really, because these helped world, uh, win World War II, which is uh, pretty amazing. These were worn by uh, people like my grandfather who were in World War II, who actually stormed uh, the beaches of Normandy, and uh, this is a, a part of history. So very, very cool stuff here. Uh, anyway, tell me what you think in the comments below. I really wanna hear from you guys. Please also don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. It is super helpful for the channel. Also, follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is watchchrisblog. I have some links in the description. Those links are to Amazon and a few other links uh, to other brands and websites that I am an affiliate for. If you click those links, it doesn't cost you anything extra. Interrupt your prime benefits, and I very much appreciate it. 
uh, it helps support the channel and, uh, and and it helps me make these videos or continue making these videos. Anyway, thank you for logging on and I will catch you guys in the next video.